Class 5 is race number two, first leg of the opening double trio, and it's over the distance of 1,800 metres. We've got Regency Master on a seven-day backup and up in trip. Superb Daddy comes back the other way, 2,200 to 1,800 metres. Sunny Baby, cheek pieces are off. Jubilation's been racing well and doing it tough at the same time. Lowell Ambition carries 12 pounds less than last start for the claim for Angus Chung. Fox Hunter way he's placing was this trip, and Cable Speed, first time in the money last time since arrival here in third over the 2200 behind management folks well ambition might get a nice lead here nick i think he could mark yeah i mean they've gone forward with him in the past i think what could be crucial as well is the fact that angus chung's riding him and uh, we've seen how effective he can be off the front and well with 10 pounds off why not make good use of of your mount um jubilation's a horse in very good form and uh, he's sat prominent he's also drawn a little bit wide so he'll come across one or two cable speed might be caught out a little bit deeper and Fox Hunt away there, Paul. He um, should be close to the pace. He was a couple of starts ago. Yeah, there's not too much sort of noted front runners in this uh, race. That's why I thought Royal Ambition can lead with that apprentice claim. And uh, Angus did lead in most of his races on the weekend. He certainly did. But we're going to start, Nick, with the top of the book and uh, rewind about seven days. Regency Master running third. He has won up to 2,000 metres, just one go over the 1,800 here at Happy Valley. Yeah, absolutely, and look, this um, this run here is, is obviously you know, a respectable one. He's, he's certainly not disgraced at all here, being two and a quarter lengths behind amazing news. So, uh, look, on the balance of this form, he'd have to be some sort of chance. Carries the same weight as last time, Paul, and he is a winner here at the Valley. Yeah, and he's won off a rating of 52 earlier in his career as well, so he is capable, and I thought the run wasn't too bad. Matthew Foon on board this week has a reasonably good record on the horse too. This is charisma, Paul. Funny old season. Used to go pretty good at Happy Valley and run on. This year he's been terrible. Racing great over at Shah 10. Extra distance for the first time for Sunny Baby too. Yeah, Sunny Baby uh, with that extra extra trip uh, for him. But uh, look, this is charisma. Okay, it, look, the win this season, as you mentioned, was at Shah 10 and he used to run on all the time. He's only won at Shah 10. He hasn't won here at Happy Valley. So... I'm just not sure what where, where his best track is at the moment. Yeah, Sunny Baby, naught from five here at Happy Valley. Interesting, though, that Zach Purton stays on board him and Cheek Pieces coming off as well is, uh, is certainly intriguing. That is uh, that class five from over at Shah 10. We head to Jubilation here, Nick. That's uh, him in the green and gold colours. And he's been racing well. Surely a win can't be too far away. Another one, he was a winner on the all-weather three starts ago. Yeah, he's done a super job. And, and kudos to Peter Ho because he really has got his horses racing nice and consistently. So, um, you know, he deserves plenty of credit. He's in good form, drops back in trip. And Peter, incidentally, Paul's the only trainer outside of the top ten with a double-figure strike rate. Yeah, so he's, as you say, he's going really well this season. Look, I'm going to put him on top too, Jubilation. I think he's going to put himself right in the race. OK, good report for Jubilation. And Go Ballistic, Paul, 1,800 metres certainly suits this guy. Yeah, look, he was a little bit held up in the straight here as well for this fifth. It wasn't a bad run from him. He's won off a lot higher rating in the past. He's won off 34, and he's down at this rating at 26 at the moment. Wasn't too far away, so I think he's a good chance. Yeah, very competitively weighted, Paul, as you've mentioned. There he gets stopped again. So almost twice up the straight, he's been he's been balked and he's he's been stopped, but he has run on quite nicely, and... These conditions do suit him well. It's a good report from the boys for Go Ballistic, but you've given us a clue who you're putting on top. Yeah, a bit of jubilation here for me. Um, Peter Ho's going really well this season, so he's on top. Uh, I think he's capable and he's been really consistent in his last three starts. Uh, Go Ballistic, we saw him held up in the straight. Regency Masters won off a lot higher ratings. We'll put Sonny Baby in on a minor line. The cheek pieces come off him, and he has been placed at uh, Happy Valley, one of his five starts. Yeah, go ballistic uh, for me on top here, down towards the bottom of the weight. So off a really good rating nowadays, and that run last time, he, he certainly didn't get all the luck up the straight. So uh, I'll go the reverse numbers there uh, with 11 to beat six. Jubilation in for second in very good form. Uh, Murray's partners could be the interesting runner in the race as well, and the, the balance of his form, he could certainly be a player here. And loyal ambition, likely pace, I think he can acquit himself nicely. 11, 6, 4 and 8. Well, there you have it, the preview for race number two, the Class 5 over the 1,800 metres.